Honestly, can you tell the difference? Is that difference 30 something picks ahead of each other? Is the difference somebody being the next LeBron James, a prospect versus somebody who's gonna be out the league if he doesn't play well? No. <clears throat> Hello, Bobo. So, how do you feel about Victor Wimbayama? Do you think he compares to you? <laughs> well, fuck that. I should have been number one. What? What's the difference between me and him? Well, you got injured, so that's why you fell in draft board. Shut up. They ain't got shit to do with nothing. Y'all always talking about injuries and shit because I'm too tall. He taller than me. He the number one overall pick. The Nuggets gave up on me. I didn't want that shit, but it's time. It's Bobo time. Is one Luffy or is one Plastic Man? Bobo isn't the same level of a prospect as Victor Wambayama. If Victor Wambayama is a 10 in all these categories, Bobo is like a 7, which is okay. If Victor Wambayama was a 7 in these categories instead of a 10, he would probably still be a top 3 pick in the NBA draft. This year, last year's Bobo's draft, next year's draft, because he's 7'4 and can do a lot of good things on the basketball court. The difference is, Victor hasn't got injured yet. He's look as a once in a lifetime prospect. I want good health for Victor and I also want good health for Bobo. But the reason that why Bobo is barely cracking the NBA rotation is because A, they already put a limit on his ceiling. They're trying to make this man play center and learn how to be a center first then become the player you was since you were seven years old a dribbling demigod for victor i guarantee you he's gonna come in the league he's gonna be allowed to dribble allowed to make mistakes allowed to miss defensive assignments allowed to get out rebounding because it's thin frame but because he is the number one overall draft pick but ball ball since you're a second round pick you have to earn it through the hard way go to the g league go to training camp pass your physical I mean, you need to pass your physical. Now we're seeing the Bobo that we supposed to see when he was a rookie. Bobo is a rookie. Bobo has played 791 minutes in his career. Dolan Bede, his rookie season, after missing two years, played 786. He still looked at Joel as the savior for the Sixers. Now we see Bobo coming up the behind the back. Next play, the behind the back. Now the next play, he got a three ball that he clearly said, it's not on camera, I'm better than you, Victor Webayama. He said it. I'm better than you, Victor Webayama. And this is just amazing. This is some Giannis shit. And he doesn't even, y'all didn't want to play him nuggets? Two dribbles from half court. A misdirection at 7-3? With the right hand on the left side? Tough. This is against one of the best defenders, Alex Caruso. Off the catch, spin, going to the baseline and dunking on his head in crunch time. This is a close game, no garbage time. And the thing about Bobo Ball Ball is, like I said in the beginning, that they're trying to make him play center. He's doing a great center job. He's playing better without Wendell Carter. He's playing better without Ben Caro. Um, and as a center, he's using his height. He's getting a lot of blocks like he was supposed to. He's getting rebounds like you're supposed to. I'm the firm believer of you as rebounding and blocking the shot and then guarding your position, then you can dribble. Then you you can shoot then you can take the ball from coast to coast and he has a coach that believes in him they have Bancaro, Bobo, Wendell, Jonathan Isaac doing something but if he comes back that's crazy Markel Falls, Jalen Suggs, Cole Anthony and also Franz Wagner but that'd be all for this video bro make sure you like and subscribe man I'm out man peace